Now I'm going to go over how to blur a part of your video that you've already uploaded to YouTube. I'm here in YouTube studio. So um, if you forgot to blur something um, before uploading it or anything like that, um, you do have some options here in YouTube studio to go add blur after the fact. A few things to point out. Um, if you've trimmed the video at all or anything in YouTube, um, studio, it gets a little finicky about letting you blur something after that. So do keep that in mind if you're not able to blur something. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can blur something if it's available for you. So first thing to do is pull up uh, YouTube studio, go to the content tab and find the video that you want to add the blur to and go ahead and click the pencil icon. Once you're here, you want to go to the editor tab um, on the left for the video. Then you want to select blur parts of your video. And you have two options here. You have face blur or custom blur. If you click face blur, it'll go ahead and detect the faces in the video. You can select them and it'll try to blur it itself um, throughout the video. I don't have any faces in this video, so I can't show you that, but that's pretty simple because um, it kind of tries to go and just do it itself, which is pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and do a custom blur because this is where you get a lot of different features and it can get a little tricky. So once you've done that, you can see you get a bunch of options here first. You can have a rectangle or an oval. You can have it try to track an object object, or do a fixed blur position. Um, tracking the object works pretty well um, most of the time, but not all the time. So what does that mean? It means if I drag this box here, my blur box, over this object here, you can see my blue bar down here has been adjusting for that object. If I change it to a different object, you can see that's now adjusted because it's trying to track how long that's on the screen for. And once this blue bar is up, uh, it won't be blurring that section of the screen anymore. So if we skip, you can see it's blurring, blurring, blurring. Um, but once we get at the end here and it passes that, that box should disappear. So you can even see at the end, it kind of drifted up the screen and things like that. It can be a little finicky. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes it doesn't. So do keep that in mind. Um, but if you do a fixed blur option, this means that wherever this is, it's just going to stay there for as long as you want it. So I can make this long and anywhere I jump to in this video, that box is going to be in the same place. Okay, um, and with this box, you can resize it kind of pretty much any way you want. And you'll see it'll blur out a bunch of stuff here and you can click and move it around as needed. But if you're at the fixed position here, you can go ahead and adjust it kind of to whatever you need. You can also go, okay, I need to start blurring here. A little further and you can always zoom in here to get a little better job or to do a little bit of better job at pinpointing at where you want this to start so let's say we want to blur this folder icon that pops up we can copy the timestamp where our little line is here that we've put you can copy that and we can paste it where we want the blur to start here. So you can see now it starts there and we can zoom back out and go, okay, looks like it kind of stops around here. Let's see, we'll zoom in, get a little better look here. Zoom in a little more. And we'll go, okay, so about there. So I'll copy this time staff and put it in the end part hit enter and there we go now we can see we've got our box 
in the time we need it, and now we can drag it over our op object, and it's going to just stay static right there. It's not going to try to move on its own like it would if it was trying to track an object, and it's just going to be right where we had it that whole time, um, and then it'll disappear. And again, you can change it to an oval or you know, kind of whatever else you want here. Now you can also add more than one blur um, in your video. So if you need to blur other things out, you just click add blur. Again, you can do face or custom. You can add another custom one. Again, it defaults to tracking an object. You can do fixed blur. We'll do this one in an oval shape. And you can see we can kind of blur things out in an oval shape here anywhere we kind of want in the video. And again, we can drag and move this around to make it a little easier. Um, we can also do the same things to adjust the time and everything that we did before. If we want it to stop and end, we can make it bigger or smaller, all the same things that we just did um, to blur out any objects. And again, we can add more and more if we need to. So we can blur out multiple things at the same time. You can even see these are overlapping um, or at, you know, different times, um, just depending on what your needs are. So um, if you need to go and edit these, um, you can go ahead and do so. If you have multiple like this, you need to select the one so it's in blue so you can go change the stuff up here. And if you want to get rid of a blur, you click on it and you can click the delete button and that'll get rid of it. And so that's how you can kind of go ahead and add some blur effect uh, to your videos, whether you need to blur out faces or do a custom blur. Again, the blur out faces is pretty easy if it recognizes the face, but sometimes you need to do a custom blur because it doesn't you know, maybe it's a side of a face or something it doesn't recognize, or more likely if you're doing a custom blur, you need to um, block out some text or whatever that's on the screen that you're showing or block out a different object that's not someone's face. So you can go ahead and do that if you need to here in the YouTube studio, if you didn't do it um, beforehand, before uploading it. And remember to always save your changes. And again, it's going to take a little while to save those changes. Um, so you can check back later to see when it's done processing. But if we jump back out all the way to the content tab here, you can see it's now processing again in standard definition. And then it'll have to do HD definition and then it'll be ready. And it'll show the original version on YouTube um, if it's live until it, the standard definition version is ready, um, then it will start and show the new uh, things that you blurred and everything. It'll be the, the video that you want. So that's how you can go ahead and blur stuff in, on your videos in YouTube Studio. Hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.